Stupid camera, it's fucking blurry. Hey guys, and welcome to the Chef Puppet Official Puppet Collection 2023 Edition. Now, I've been collecting a lot of stuff ever since I started this career exception. And let me tell you, I enjoy every single bit of it. And today, I decided that I was going to take everything out from my storage unit. How do I move this? And show you guys an updated collection of this year's edition. I think you all know which one we're going to start off with. This is my junior puppy, and I got this junior way back in 2019 when the pre-orders came out. Right when as I'm introduced these guys. Along with the pre-order of this guy, I pre-order him along with the bundle that they had at the time. Which, if you ask me, it was such a good deal for those puppets. Next we got Cody. Now this Cody came along with the family pack bundle that they had at the time. Hey, Joseph. I gotta say, this is not my first Joseph puppet. What? You see, back in the day when we decided to change the plushies, I decided to get rid of my old Joseph. And then later on, when I decided to come back to the puppets, I was forced to buy a new Joseph. And you know what? I like my current Joseph. <laughs> yeah, dude. Okay, Chef PB. This was my first puppet ever, and I got it back on Christmas of 2019. And ever since, I just started collecting, collecting, collecting until the collection just kept going. So if it wasn't for this one single puppet and your support, guys, the Chef puppet would have never exist all right lola she was first introduced on the sml episode Ma the maid is that what it was which in that same episode she got fired but then she came back for a second time which that being should be the date and after that well she never came back up on any of the sml episodes because apparently rebecca the voice actor for this character in the sml world was actually the hooker that look and paid next one is marvin say whatever you guys want but I call him Marvin Braxton. Same with this one. I can call him Braxton if I want to. And the last one from the main SMO cast, we got Rose. Marvin, Marvin. You're annoying. All right, now that we're done with the main puppet cast, let's move to a second chapter, the Jeffies. So right here, we got the original Jeffy puppet. Now, there's two versions of this puppet. There's the version one, that being the ones during the pre-order and 2019. And these ones are the 2020 to uh, the present, I guess, because they updated the mouse from being cardboard to actual plastic that would actually last longer than that. And if you may be wondering how does a version of the first Jeffy puppet looks like, without the cardboard, it looks like this. Frozen Jeffy. This is a Christmas edition, and I don't know what it's supposed to represent, but I'm guessing that this is supposed to represent something with Mr. Scrooge from The Christmas Carol, which I dedicated a video. Okay, next one, Scooter. Now, this is not the actual SML merch scooter, but in fact, this is a Nebulinka scooter puppet. I got this somewhere 2020 during the pandemic, and I gotta say, it, it's, a, it's a real good quality puppet. Like, like this bitch. Zombie Jeffy. Now we got the Zombie Jeffy puppet. This one is missing his pencil. I lost that, but that can be replaceable. He's missing a foot and his arm can come up. Yep, it, it comes off. He has sharp teeth and he has a squishy brain. Now this puppet is a, a limited edition puppet that came out for a Halloween offer. And then these guys sold out mid year and then they just never restocked with these. Which just leaves me thinking that these puppets are actually rare. Phoebe. Now my Phoebe puppet's been through Vietnam, but let me tell you it's it's still in a good shape. She's missing her glasses, her teeth, her diaper. That's all. Next one is the Elf Jeffy puppet. Okay, now this one is the Christmas edition for 2023. Last year, we had Frozen Jeffy and we had a couple more that they're coming soon. Yeah, but all jokes aside, this is an actual good quality Christmas edition. It's currently sold out and I don't think they'll ever restock. So um, hopefully you got yours. And with that, that was all the Jeffy puppets and anything related to Jeffy. Now I'm gonna take a deep breath and I'm gonna come back. Meanwhile, I'm gonna leave you guys with a little montage of characters that literally no one cares about.
deep breath. Now, it seems like the puppet collection got a little bit smaller. That's because we got to rush stuff in. Anyways, let's move on to the other ones. All right, three winter editions. Winter Joseph, Winter Cody, and my favorite one, Skeen Jr. Now, this is epic. No, listen, dog. Brooklyn guy. This one I called Vanessa, but this was my original Karen before. Uh, Simmons, Pirate, or Shepi P. Stepdad, Jonathan, Susan, William Afton slash Does Bad Things guy, Jump Park, Jeanette. This one, which is Shepi P.'s dad, King Strong Bottom. Next one. Dougie. I gotta say, this is a well done puppet. You know what's interesting? The chain is actually metal. This is how quality these puppets are, man. Hold them, please. Shift. All right. Evil Shepi P or Shepi P2. Ken. All right, we're done with this side of the bed. Now let's go to the other side, that being the pillow. The crew puppets. <laughs> we got Logan, the creator and founder of Logan 30 Acre Productions. Next one is Chili. This is the Chili puppet, and she comes with a nice necklace right here. And she came along with this pregnant stomach. So whenever I want, I can just get her pregnant. Whoa. Lance, the voice actor for Jeffy. Hi, guys. <laughs> <coughs> that was my Jeffy impression. Lavelle voices Joseph and other characters that I forgot. Pooby. I don't know why, but I kind of like the fact that they give these guys Jeffy arms. Tito, come outside. Tito, come outside. And lastly, Elena, which she plays Rose. Marvin, Marvin. Now that we're done with the crew puppets, before we move on to the next item, I just forgot to name this one. Uh, Woody. I, I just kind of forgot to, to show him. But now we can move to the Sunny and Silly puppets. First one, we got Goodman. Now, originally, this one was a Chef Goodman, which later I turned into a Soup Goodman. Next one is Jackie Chew. Now, this is the original Jackie Chew puppet, because nowadays, Jackie Chew puppets look like this. But, for what I know, this is a 2007 version of the puppet. Thanks to a private collector, Tristan, I was able to buy it for him. And I gotta say, thank you so much. We got Tyrone, which I bought from Amazon. And I got Cody's Big Fat Mom, which I also bought from Amazon. Okay, the bed is almost empty. Now let's introduce the accessories. Let's start with the obvious stuff. First one is the finger puppets, and you may be wondering, where's Marvin? Because yes, there's supposed to be a Marvin. Well, let's just say that someone needed it more than I, so, but don't worry, we'll be back. These are the keychains, and I'm not missing any. Well, I am missing one, that being the Phoebe one. As you can see, my bed is already covered in SML accessories. So, the blanket that I currently have right now, this is considered a rare blanket since it still has Nintendo designs and Nintendo pixelated stuff. Next one is the Jeffy Squishmallow. I already put my poo poo stains in it. My Jeffy body pillow. I really don't know what Logan was on while making this design, but it's cool. The pillows and the blankets. Now this is the Christmas edition blanket. This is the Jeffy and Friends blanket and the Jeffy pencil blanket. And then right here under my bed, we got the Jeffy slippers. And I gotta say, that's pretty much it for the SML accessories. That's all I got for the SML accessories. <laughs> I get no hoes. Now, Nintendo characters. We got Bowser, Joseph. We got an original 2009 Sinei Bowser Jr. Super Nintendo gimmick. And that's pretty much it. Now, next things, and those being the last things, the tags. Now, I've been collecting these puppets for a long time, and most collectors that I talk with, especially content creators, they told me that they always throw away the tags. Well, that's not my occasion. I actually keep the tags. And these are how the tags look like. You see, they kind of changed the tags over the years. You can see the junior one. This was my original junior one, and they still have this R and Q, and they still, they still have that wonderful message that made you feel special. And, well, nowadays, when you buy a junior puppet, you just get junior character and with that being said that's my whole puppet collection right there we did it